some days you think you're done and then something pops up and you got to go uh, talk about it and today's one of those days and it's one of those things that's going to get you angry upset maybe uh, and then we're going to be treading a line here that's going to be very difficult to navigate and it's Superman is going to get a reboot reboot and it is a reboot because uh, if the reports are true J.J. Abrams is going to be producing this movie with Ta Nehisi Coates writing it and uh, the reporting is going to be a black Superman which doesn't upset me actually uh, I thought it would at first because I still wanted to see more of Henry Cavill and we'll talk more about that as I kind of unfold this I un unpack this for you guys uh, it's, the story on the side here just says uh, what we're going to walk through and um, it's, it's delicate because this is the kind of story where a lot of people uh, of the cancel culture will be scouring the internet looking for these types of videos for somebody to say something and have them um, say beg it or you know um, this is a hater you should not listen to these these videos at all like there's there are people out there scouring the internet for this stuff um i'm going to tell you this straight up uh, i read the article and that's what you have to do guys you got to read it um and i kind of like what they're doing i kind of like the uh the, the fresh approach and it's going to take me some time to unpack it for you guys so give me a second to do this Am I upset that they're not going to use Henry Cavill in a Superman movie? Yeah. But does that mean that Henry Cavill's done playing Superman? Not from the way that I understood this article. So I'm not really that upset. A lot of people are, because that's your initial reaction. Your initial reaction is, ah, Superman without Henry Cavill? And that's all you want to do. You want to get on the internet and you just want to start spouting stuff. But you got to read the article, guys. And here's where I kind of my my feelings land you know how there's that new robert pattinson batman movie coming out uh because i wasn't done with batfleck i still think that uh ben affleck should st still play batman there should be a ben affleck batman movie i think there should be and people will say well people will be confused then they don't understand that uh, uh there's more than one batman but you know what that happens all the time in the comic books and it's happened with spider-man so you know what uh the way i look at it is this the superman movie with uh if they want to go with uh, valzod i think is the way that they pronounced it or something like that i'll get into it if they go with that route i'll just look at it like that you know it's just another superman movie going along hopefully someday we will get a proper uh henry cavill superman sequel uh, man of steel sequel but uh you know it is what it is we'll we'll get into it man of steel i was mixed i wasn't champing in it i didn't think it was the best superman movie but i liked henry cavill a lot so let's just look into this what this says here superman reboot and development at wb with taha nessie coates writing and jj abrams producing now I'm not, I'm not a big fan of abrams i've really really fallen off his wagon since the force awakens and that's somebody who owns Super 8. I actually really do like Super 8. But once I see, once I've seen what he was doing with just recycling properties, adding a little bit of mystery box into it, that mystery box got really old fast. So I, I don't really think of him as an inspiring director. You know, he's not David Fincher. He's not... Um, even somebody like Neil Blomkamp that I just said earlier today in the District 10 possibilities is that, uh, you know, how Neil Blomkamp was always searching for different ways to shoot special effects and to innovate. J.J. Abrams is not that. He's just somebody who recycles something, adds a little spin on it to get you sucked in. That's what J.J. Abrams is. And that's, I don't see him as a visionary person, right? I'm trying to inject new flavors into things. He just recycle stuff 
And that, I mean, anyway, I'm not, not going to rant too much about that anymore. It's just, and we saw that with the Star Wars stuff. It, it, people have made videos on videos on that end on end. But uh, as a writer, as a concept person, he's he's still fairly good. And it doesn't sound like he's going to direct it. So that's good. That's good. Uh, no details about the plot or talent have been released. Hannah Ming, Ming, Minja, Ming, Mingala will serve as producer. Uh, let's look at some of the quotes here. Quotes. To be invited into the DC Extended Universe by Warner Bros. DC Films and Bad Robot is an honor. Of course it would be. Always. Coates told the outlet, I look forward to meaningful, to meaningfully adding to the legacy of America's most iconic mythic hero. But it won't be really, because if they're using a different... Uh, it, it, from what I understand, it's not going to be Clark Kent. It's not going to be kal -El. So that's why I have no problem with what they're doing. There is a new powerful and moving Superman story yet to be told. And most people would say, well, no, we want Henry Cavill. But again, listen to the whole thing. We couldn't be more thrilled to be working with the brilliant Mr. Coates. And he does have a lot of accolades that have gained him some repute. So don't worry about that. He is, I do believe those reports to help bring that story to the big screen. And we're beyond thankful to the team at Warner Bros for the opportunity Abrams added. So, uh, that's about it uh, in this article. I had to go to uh, The Hollywood Reporter, and uh, they hit a little bit more on it. So, the celebrated writer has insight and experience to delve in further in the mythos. Now, we know that in the comic books, Superman, there was a Superman story with this Val Zod, or whatever his name is. Um, it was basically somebody who was adopted by um, Jor-El and then uh, got sent to Earth, and then what happens is that he doesn't really become Superman until Dark Side starts to come. So if they do that story, I got, that's that's very interesting. It wouldn't be kal -El, it would be this Val Zod guy, right? So uh, I, reading about it, it does intrigue me. It does. <laughs> uh, but as I said before in the beginning, it would be one of those things where I'd be looking at it like, just a side project. It would be like Pattinson's Batman. Uh, yeah, he is Batman in that in that iteration, but he's not the Batman. He's not the one that's going to be the one marching forward with a huge franchise. I still think that should be Ben Affleck for the most part, but uh, if he wants it, he's there. I, I, I just... Uh, I, <sighs> <laughs> it it can get you flustered if you're not careful. So that's what I'm, I meant by you got to be careful with this stuff. Um, uh, something here I took note of is this isn't the first time Abrams had circled Superman, uh, a Superman film. He wrote Superman Flyby for the early 2000s, but it was shelved by Brian Singer's Superman Returns. And, and he, you know what? You know who else got a bad uh, kind of a bad deal with uh, their first outing as Superman? Well, that was it. Superman Returns. Um, because I felt like, uh, yeah, he should have had a better chance at it. And the CW did give him a, a bit more of a, Brandon Routh, uh, a, they gave him a bit of a reprieve on it, and I enjoyed that. Um, as far as the uh, author, journalist, he's a journalist, so he's done a lot of journalism stuff too. So, But he, he knows the comic books, If they're saying he knows the comic books, so he knows the storyline. And uh, I feel like that's, that's interesting. That's that's a good plus. The Superman reboot comes on the heels of the CW's recent Superman Lois. I did a reaction and review to that. I'll leave that up in the cards. I really liked it, and I didn't think I would. So this is one of those other things too. There's your there's another Superman being played by Tyler Hecklin right now. People aren't up in arms about that. You shouldn't be up in arms about this either. Wait till the castings are out there. They're saying people are saying that it was Michael B. Jordan, but there were rumors about that before. So I'm not too... I wouldn't be upset with a Michael B. Jordan Superman, actually. Um, the casting of Sasha Kali as Supergirl in the Flash movie came out. And I was going to do a story about that, but it was just so small and minor. Because uh, you don't know how big the role of Supergirl is going to be in the Flash. She is um, not going to be a traditional Supergirl. She's Latino, I think. Latino? I'm not too sure. But uh, she's not going to have the signature blonde hair. And your first initial response would be like... Do, 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 do. Just wait for it, guys. Wait for what they're going to show you. Uh, the director of The Flash, uh, Andy Muschietti, i got to trust him. He did the It movies, guys, so he, he knows what he's doing. So uh, I, I trust what he 
has in mind for that character. As far as and as far as the Superman, as I said, uh, we just have a new Superman with Tyler Hecklin. Well, not new, but uh, a new show with Superman, and people aren't complaining about that. Uh, they're not saying they're not taking to the Twitterverse and social media say. Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill. No, I am on the Henry Cavill side, guys. Trust me, I am. I am. I do want Henry Cavill to have a good Superman movie that oh, that the majority of people like. That the majority of people will say, that's Superman. I recognize that Superman. Uh, because I will agree that the Snyder version of Superman was a bit dark. It was a bit drab. And... <sighs> Again, that's a misstep with the director. With it is Snyder's fault that his approach was not what people wanted to see from Superman. They wanted to see the, you know, the, the Boy Scout Superman, and we didn't get that. But I, I still think that Man of Steel has a lot of good qualities, and I like B versus S, and I can't wait for the Justice League uh, Zack Snyder cut. Um, so, if you want to make a, your voice known about these kinds of things, guys, this is how you do it. You go out and you pay for the Snyder Cut. You watch the Snyder Cut in mass numbers. And you let the studios know this is what you want to see. And people are. But be careful, because if you go out there and you just start blasting everything because, well, you're mistreated and... You walk that fine line, as I said. There's those people out there scouring, saying looking for any little excuse if you slip up just the slightest bit they'll say bigot cancel this guy cancel cancel can cancel he's a bigot he's a racist he's a it's like <sighs> it's it's I, i'm not upset i'm just i'm just a little bit disappointed that we're not going to see a henry cavill superman come down the pipes right now because he's getting older and he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna move on to other things before he can get back to the Superman. And it's just like, guys, 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 Superman isn't hard. You always hear these stories that, oh, it's always hard to crack the Superman story. No, it's not. It's Superman fighting bad guys. And you can make the story big, where it's the whole planet, or it could be small guys. Small, like City, uh, Lex Luthor. It's so much they can do with Superman. You just gotta have some imagination and <laughs> some people just have these weird ideas as to what it should be i mean as far as taking this uh val zod is that what oh, i saw it yeah val zod or calvin ellis or val zod uh if they take that story you know they've had stories where superman what if superman landed in russia and they've done they've done different stories with it so yeah if they're going to do a black Superman and they do it where he doesn't actually become Superman until Darkseid's forces come, and they can do Darkseid really cool and not like the CG version that we're going to get because of constraints and everything, but not the cartoonish one. And if they can make him as menacing as Thanos, which they should, that should be the priority. Making as menacing as Thanos, then yeah, uh, I'll be on board with that. I'll be on board to see what, what they can do with this project. But I'm I'm ranting, guys, and I'm gonna leave this video fairly raw because I I, I just I don't I I'm not gonna get angry that they're I'm not gonna post screaming and yelling at you. That's what I'm not gonna do. But I'm gonna post my thoughts, and that, those are my thoughts. Um, I I'll just be interested to see who they cast, or what kind of tone they're shooting for, who's gonna be directing. I just hope. JJ's not directing because I already voiced my concerns over him. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I really want to know your thoughts. Try to be peaceful too. Try to be peaceful, guys. Mm -hmm.